Hello and welcome. This is going to be a quick video tutorial explaining on how to convert pounds into kilograms. Pounds or LBs, that's a B, are commonly used in the United States, whereas mostly everywhere else they use kilograms when measuring weight. It's going to be important if you're practicing medicine uh, to learn how to convert pounds into kilograms because many dosages that are weight based are going to be in the form of per kilogram. For instance, you might see a desired dose of 20 milligrams per kilogram or 20 mLs, milliliters per kilogram. And this is talking about the patient's weight over here. We need to learn how to convert the patient's weight from pounds to kilograms. The first concept to understand when doing this is that one pound is equal, I'm sorry, one kilogram is equal to 2.2 .2 pounds. So if I had a scale here, and on this side I had a big ball that equaled one kilogram. And on this side, I had a ball that equaled 2.2 .2 pounds. This scale would be level. Okay, if this was a seesaw, it would be level because one kilogram is equal to 2.2 .2 pounds. So, intuitively, you might say, well, just take the patient's weight in pounds. Let's say we have a 110 pound patient and divide that by 2.2. Because every 2.2 .2 pounds is equal to 1 kilogram. And if you plug that into your calculator, 110 divided by 2.2 .2 is equal to 50 kilograms. Now, if you didn't have a calculator and you forget how to do division, especially when decimals are involved, I'll explain it to you. So you're going to take that 110, all right, and you're going to put it in that old division symbol that we're familiar with. All right, and you're going to divide it by 2.2. .2. Okay, 2.2. .2. Now there's a decimal there, so the easy way to do this is do 22 into 1,100. So you're basically taking this decimal point and moving it over, and you're taking this invisible decimal point and moving it over here. Okay, and 22 goes into 110 how many times? Well. 22 times 4 is equal to 88, so 88 will go in there, but can it go in 5 times? 22 times 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 2 times 5 is 10 plus 1, perfect. So 22 goes into 110, 5 times, 22 goes into 0, 0 times. So your answer with that big 0 is 50 kilograms. Now there is a little trick that I can teach you, but just keep, be aware that this trick is going to sometimes be off by maybe one kilogram, sometimes maybe two kilograms if you go up into very, very high weights, okay? But for the most part, it's fairly accurate. And if you're giving medications to your average aged adult, it's not gonna be that big deal to be off by one or two kilograms because for the most part, they're probably guessing their weight if they're telling it to you and you're certainly guessing it if they're unresponsive and you're working in the field and you're trying to give an emergent medication. So for the most part, it's okay to be off by one or two kilograms. But if you have a very small child or an elderly person, you're probably not going to want to guess. You're going to probably want to be as accurate as possible when delivering weight-based medications. So here's the trick. Let's talk about the same 110-pound patient. What would you do? Well, to do the trick, you would first divide by two because that's much easier than dividing by 2.2, .2, and that'll give you 55. Now just subtract the first number. 55 minus 5 equals 50. Basically, you're subtracting 10%. That's, that's the goal of this. Let's do it with a different weight. Let's do it with 132 pounds. Let's convert that to kilograms, 132. What's 132 divided by 2? 132 divided by 2, well, 
I believe 132 divided by 2. 2 goes into 13 six times, okay? And then you would have 1 left over, and then 2 goes into 12 six times. So your 132 divided by 2 is 66. Now don't forget, subtract that first number, and you get 60 kilograms. Now for those of you that are a little bit quicker, you might have figured out that every 22 pounds is equal to 10 kilograms. So 22 pounds equals 10 kilograms. If I added 22 to that, I would get 44 pounds. And that would equal 20 kilograms. Add 22 to that, you get 66 pounds. And that's equal to 30 kilograms. And so on and so forth. Why does that work? Well, again, it's important to understand that every one kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds. So if one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds, I could just move this decimal over and this invisible decimal point I'll move over as well and add a zero. So 10 kilograms equals 22 pounds. All you basically did there was multiply both sides by 10. So it's important when you're trying to be accurate to remember to divide by 2.2. Take your patient's weight in pounds, let's say 220. Divide that by 2.2 and you'll get your solution, in this case 100 kilograms. I hope this was helpful. Stay tuned for more drug math tutorials.